Number 7. Ballast Block Installation Concrete ballast blocks are not furnished by Westec. Install ballast block supports to the completed side sheet sections as shown on the erection drawings. Before ballast blocks are installed, the ballast supports and lower side sheets shall be painted with a final coat. While the cover is sitting on the corbels, lift the ballast blocks into place working from opposite sides of the tank to balance the framework. Installation of the ballast blocks can be very dangerous. If there are any questions or concerns, please call West Tech before proceeding. Note: If a properly rated crane is available, you may install the ballast before lifting the cover into the tank. If this is done, the cover plates may be welded together before lifting the cover into the tank. Number 8. Roof Plate Installation Plates are furnished flat and will conform to beam curvature due to their own weight. Some clamping may be required for larger plates. Plate installation should progress from the outer perimeter to the centering in a fashion that will balance the framework during the welding procedure. The inner portion of the cover plates are not required to butt flush with the center ring. The adapter ring is designed to cover any gaps that exist between the innermost cover plate and the center ring. Use a back step or skip weld sequence procedure to distribute heat and prevent buckling. All continuous welds must be gas tight. Strictly observe the welding symbols on the West Tech General Assembly drawings. Number 9. Installing the Accessories Refer to General Assembly drawings for position of manholes and accessories. Plumb, level, and tack weld into position and weld using a gas tight weld as required. Holes may be cut in the roof plate for manholes, mixer ports, sample tubes, and nozzles at West Tech shop. Some appurtenances may need field locating and cutting as required. Refer to West Tech's General Assembly drawings for locations and hole sizes. When installing sample tubes, stiffeners may be required. Position the sample tube, plumb and level. When the sample tube is plumb, attach the two stiffeners. Position and weld the adapter rings. Use gas tight welds. Install cover plates, manhole covers, and spark resistant quick opening sample tube hatches. Be sure to include the gaskets and to tighten the bolts evenly. Apply anti-seize to all stainless steel bolts. Install flame arresters and pressure relief vacuum breaker assemblies using the correct weights per the manufacturer's recommendations to achieve the required relief pressure set points for pressure and vacuum relief. Number 10. Set and adjust slide assemblies. Install upper slide bracket mounting plates, making sure to center them on the radial beams as indicated on the connection details drawing. The upper slide bracket mounting plate must be mounted directly above the lower slide bracket mounting plate. Both mounting plates must be positioned so that the slide bracket assemblies have the proper clearances when tracking in the slide guides. Reference connection details drawing. Do not weld the slide bracket mounting plates into position until both the digester cover and slide guides have been properly installed in the digester tank. Check elevation, plumbness, and orientation before final welding. All structural welding should now be complete. Some seal welding may still be required after testing. All gas tight welds must be tested. It is strongly recommended that weld testing be performed before the paint is applied to these seams. Attach the UHMW slide plates to the slide brackets. Install slide brackets and slide bracket adapters. The slide brackets should be adjusted radially so that a quarter inch gap exists between the UHMW slide plates and the slide guide plate. Slide bracket assemblies should track approximately in the middle of the slide guides. The installation is now complete and the cover is ready for testing. Number 11. Floating the cover. 
a West Tech representative should be on site when the cover is pressurized for the float test. Also, before services are scheduled, a pre-startup checklist will be forwarded to the installing contractor in preparation for the startup. The float test is to ensure the cover travels freely over the entire range of travel without binding and that the operating and relief pressures are properly set with the correct weights as specified. You will need access to fill the tank with water to the level indicated on the pre-startup checklist. You will also need an air compressor to pressurize the cover. We recommend using the largest compressor available to save time filling the tank. Continue raising the cover, making sure that it does not bind or become cocked in its rise. Depending on the arrangement of the cover accessories, a counterweight may be required to offset the unbalanced load of a manhole, mixer, or other equipment. Number 12, weld testing. While the cover is floating, the welds can be tested using a soap and water solution. The solution can be applied using a mop and bucket or a pressure sprayer. Look for leaks on each gas tight weld and re-weld where necessary. Perform the same soap suds test to all bolted and gasketed connections. After the testing is complete, the painting can be completed. A vacuum box test may be used as an alternative. The vacuum box is not provided by West Tech. Install the PRV caution sign with mounting bracket and the West Tech nameplate with the mounting bracket. The digester cover installation is now complete. Thank you for your time. Remember, a West Tech representative will be available to assist you anytime to answer questions or concerns. To reach us during normal business hours, call 801 265 1000 or any time out of regular business hours call 801 263 4093